Re really an outstanding win today versus a hard-nosed, well-coached Utah team. Um, I, I thought the day was going to was going to be a good day. I knew we'd get off to a great start when our four seniors showed up wearing a coat and tie uh, to the game in honor of their experience at Cal. And I think that speaks volumes when kids do that unannounced. And um, those kids have, have really changed the momentum of our program. And um, I'm thankful for them. Um, and I'm pleased they could get a win on senior day. But on senior day, it took just dang near everybody to get it done. And uh, so we're thankful for the win. Um, you know, we really, I think it really comes down to the environment that you, that you put them in every day. I mean, you can't coach the emotions and the concentration uh, during the game. You, you have to be prepared for that beforehand. Um, obviously, you know, Joel had to leave the game, get some stitches, and we had some foul trouble. And so, you know, we're trying to figure out who to play. And, but we had a lot of guys contribute. And, um, and, uh, but, but, but really, the, the, um, you know, the, the, the mentality that you have to have is something that you have to establish, you know, well before tip-off. Can you talk about uh, just a little bit about Paris, Boston's season, sort of the arc of this, and his whole journey, and his last home game, and, and then he makes the two big free throws late when you really need it. Well, Paris Austin deserves to have success because he's really, he's really bought into what we're doing. doesn't mean that it was easy for him. Um, you know, he didn't start when the year began, but, but – um, but he's 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 really grown and developed, and you know I, I didn't I didn't recruit most of these seniors. I inherited them, but my my obligation is to treat them like they're my own, and um, and they've just been unbelievable. And Paris has had a I think a season that, that has changed the momentum of Cal basketball, and for the rest of his life he'll he should get credit for that. And um, I'm extremely thankful I had a chance to coach him. Well, unfortunately, they had an injury early, and so they had a short, short rotation, and and um, and we had you know a lot of guys that could play, and I don't know if they wore down or not. Um, you know, we felt like one of the things that would be important for us would be to play with just a relentless determination throughout the day, and um, I thought that determination showed on the on the glass. You know, Joel Brown, when you know he comes over and he's got blood everywhere, and he shows it to me, like you know, like what am I supposed to do about it? You know, um, and uh, so I don't even know how many stitches he had, um, but uh, to come back after that and to get on the floor uh, for loose balls, to make plays, and to really impact the game, um, that shows a great competitive character that, that Joel has, and and um, I know we were all thankful for that today. Well, you know, I think that that um, we are just more and more comfortable offensively with how we're how we're playing, and we're turning it over less. You know, today I think we had two turnovers over the last 25 minutes of the game, and um, we're just more poised. And and um, and uh, obviously we're giving up a lot of free throws too. You know, we're giving up a lot too, and we got to be better there. But um, you know, it's it's that's been that's been good to see. You know, I, I really had, um, I think in the preseason, uh, you know, over the off, the off season, I, I just got, I got sick of everybody telling us how bad we were going to be, um, and because um, I just didn't think we would be, you know, I just didn't think we would be, um, and um, I just, I just wasn't going to accept that, and uh, I wasn't going to let our team accept that, but um, it was a constant message, um, and um, the. As I've told them, that the, the the change in this team and this program had to start from the inside, and the belief had to start from the inside, and the trust had to start from the inside. And fortunately for me, um, I have you know great young people who who bought into what we're doing, and 
to give Coach Jones credit, who he texted me last night, and he's been very uh, supportive of these kids, and and um, they came here to have a good experience, and and um, and I think hopefully this year they feel like they've they've made progress. We're not anywhere near where we want to be. Um, we're nowhere close where we want to be, but I think the perception and the feelings about our team uh, and this program uh, are drastically different than what I heard all summer. The fans today had a huge impact on, on the game. I mean, they actively participated in the game. You know, they, they really did. And um, so I think our fans have been tremendous. I want them all to bring a friend next year, okay? Um, but our, our, we have to establish that we're going to be really hard to beat at home, that we're going to play well, that our fans are not only going to come, but they're going to roll their sleeves up and fight for our team. And today they did that. They've done that a lot this year. And uh, hopefully we can build on the numbers, you know, going into next season. Well, Grant's another guy. I think it's been unfair of what we've asked of Grant to, to go from a, such a small role to playing such a massive role. Usually a guy, when he makes that transition, he makes it over a two- or three-year period. He had to make it over one. And so he's playing massive minutes and, and, and really, I think, carrying a big load of responsibility for us. And he's done a tremendous job. And we talked about at the half that we got we got to get you looking at the basket more and more. And um, in the second half, he was ter he was terrific. Now, Timmy Allen's a hard – he's a hard guy to guard. He's a really hard guy to guard. And, and, and you know, I, we, we felt like that, that um, Grant, because he's bigger, might have give us a little bit of a chance to guard him. But, but um, hey, I'll tell you, Utah, they're, they're hard to beat now. I mean, that's uh, – so we, we should feel good about the win because we beat a really good team and, and a team with a great future. You look at how young their roster is.